Welcome to another podcast of the Constitution of Manchester United. Manchester United will be playing against Arsenal come on Sunday, which is tomorrow, Alisa Mayen. Um, this is, of course, one of our bitter rivals. This, um, as I've, I did a video last year talking about the rivalry, the declined rivalry of Arsenal versus Manchester United and vice versa. And I basically said that this rivalry is not as sweet as it was in the early 2000s or even in the mid 2000s. I mean, it still has its great moments, but it's just not as enticing as back then. Given the, the stars in the lineup, they think of for Manchester United, it's Colts, Roy Keane, David Beckham, um, Ryan Giggs, um, Ruud Vanisser. Ruud Vanisser is a big one because he was a main culprit and main target in this rivalry fixture like in 2004-2005 they're both is me uh you think of um for arsenal Thierry Henry, you think of Burkamp, you think of um Perez you think of Wiltord so they had great Vera how could I leave out Vera so this was a bit of sweet rivalry that was very enticing I think Arsenal and versus Man United rivalry was even better than Liverpool's rivalry in the early 2000s. Because you have to remember that in the early 2000s, Arsenal was very successful. Arsenal was, Arsenal was winning a few Premier League trophies in the early 2000s. They had their invincible run. You see me? And also, it was the it was Wenger versus Sir Alex Ferguson. And without getting lengthy, I don't want to go on a eulogy segment, but ever since today, this the rivalry is not as I mean it still has its pull, but this, the pull is not as strong as it was as back then. You know, a lot of fans are going out at it and saying, "Oh, Arsenal's going to win. Now Manchester United is going to win." So there is this this back and forth tag along, you could say, that is still happening. But definitely back then, it was just sweet. So yeah, we're going to be playing against Arsenal uh, 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 um, tomorrow. I believe we're going to be playing at the em wait will it be at home or at the emirates stadium give me a second hold on let me check it out right now yes we'll be playing at old trafford so i can't even remember the time last time arsenal won a game at old trafford i think i mean they have scored a few goals but oh yeah they won against uh they won against us i think it was fall 2019 i think mustafa must have scored a goal and i make and, and obama scored a goal I think it was two, either fall 2019 or fall 2020 where ours, I think Arsenal got uh grabbed three points almost on Old Trafford on Old Trafford's turf. But come on Sunday, we need to win this game. We need to win this game because this game is going to be our main test out of the top sides to see if we have improved. Again, this is just the start of the season. And this is the start of uh, the new reign with everything hug. But my man has to go through them hurdles as early as possible, man. We can't be having this smooth sailing, although we have won our last three games, our smooth sailing um, form. And we are not playing against the top sides consistently or, you know, after another week or skip two weeks. We need to see where we are from. Is me diamonds are cut. Diamonds need to be cut to see if they are real diamonds. Gold needs to go through the fire to find out if it's real gold. We need to see out this test and win. Arsenal fans are banging their horns ever since the season started. We need to slow that noise down. I can't deal with that noise. Arsenal think they're going to at least win the Premier League, which would be their first since 2004, since President Bush was president of the United States. And they want to make amends. They want to try at least get top two spot. Because Liverpool, you know, Liverpool is not the same Liverpool. And that's been predicted ever since last season. You know, Liverpool has peaked. Um, Tottenham is looking to, 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 to do damage this season. You know, um, Chelsea is falling by the wayside, although they grab three points. It's been about, um, so we need to win this game. Arsenal fans have been making do that. Arsenal fans have been and even if Arsenal fans are this is a rival match. So we need to make amends. Um you know, hey, I'll I'll say this man. I'll be objective. 
or so as it, uh, well this is the what this will should be like what the six the six game of the season the Premier League name just start like last week or something how is it the six game already by next week it's like the eleventh game um so yes what I was about to say um yes we need to win tomorrow man we need to win tomorrow um yes I was about to say that I'm give I'm going I'm going to give Arteta is, is, is due the, is, is due credit. You know, he's done decent with the players that he's had. Um, you know, but he needs to be humble tomorrow. I mean he needs to be humble with a sweet pie in his face. So he yeah, bro, we cannot allow Arsenal to win tomorrow. But before I get into the preview, I want to um just go into a few housekeeping notes. You know, have to you have to keep the house clean. Um so it has it's been said here by the what the express that Man United boss everything Hag kicks out Phil Jones and four other players out of the dressing room. Phil Jones is one of the most fortuitous, most fortunate players in the Premier League for, for Manchester United in, in for the last 10 years. Phil Jones has been at Manchester United since what? Since 20, fall at, fall at, uh, since 2011, summer of 2011. We signed from Blackburn. I think we either signed from Blackburn or Bolton or one of those clubs. Anyway, my man, during the years, man, he hasn't even played over 100 games and he's now still a Manchester United player. He's no, he's no top tier defender. He's done his, he's done decent when he's called upon. Let me make that clear. So Phil Jones wasn't this, 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 this joker since he started for Manchester United. No, he signed for Manchester United. So Alex Ferguson, dubbed this dude as the next um edward um duncan edwards because of his versatility and plus he was english and duncan edwards had versatility as a defender when he was playing for manchester united so so alex ferguson said this bridging from bolton was going to be the next duncan edwards maybe it's just me i've, I've yet to see that potential I've yet to see, I've never, I've not seen, well, I haven't seen Edward, uh, Duncan Edwards play ball. You see me, I wasn't born yet. I don't know if my, part, my parents was born yet. So how could I be born, right? I've never seen any Duncan Edwards play football. So I could not say if this bridging was, well, based on what he should say, he was very good as a player, as a defender. But in relation to Phil Jones, saying that he'll be the next uh, Duncan Edwards, Duncan, Phil Jones has not shown that potential when he's playing when he's you know when he's playing for manchester United, in some games he's decent he may come off as comical in so like you make them, them those those funny faces i don't know if they have any defensive prowess when he makes a face i guess going back to arsenal <laughs> going back to arsenal i remember when we played against arsenal at old Trafford in 2015 and Giroud was through Giroud was slurry but he was through phil jones don't take one tackle like so like he was naming the village in 2008 or 2009 against Arsenal at the same time it was Adiba you were my and Vidis go clear the ball my man head was about to get boss up like he like Phil Jones unleashed his his inner Vidic is me and he was like to you know push the ball with his head is me but um yeah anyway Phil, the point of me saying this is that Phil Jones has gotten away with murder a lot. He's he has never been sold when he's supposed to be sold. My man is in in is in sick bay. Is me? My man is on the injury list, so he 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 he's not he doesn't get a club that wants him. Maybe I don't even know if clubs want the bridging, but the fact is this man, everything hug with his cojones has removed Phil Jones and four other players. From the um, from the the eighteen months, and this should have been done a long time ago. So I don't know. So everything I got shown that yo, this bridging is no, up to no good. He's taking up space. He's like a placeholder with no value behind it. So he's going to remove. Well, he has already removed at least based on here. I mean, he said that it's from the sun, so you have to take it with a pinch of salt. That Phil Jones has been removed from the squad, and he's been relegated to like the under 18s locker room. What is what I say? Yeah, he's been uh Yeah, he's he's so he's with the under twenty one squad, not under eighteen, my bad on that. 
So him, Phil Jones, Brandon Williams, Teden Mengi, and Axel Twensibi and uh Shola Short here. That is six, bro. Y'all don't know y'all don't know numbers, I'm not, I'm not even good at math. That's Phil Jones, Brandon Williams, Tenden Mengi, Axel Twen C B and Shola Shorty. Okay. So Phil Jones and four other players. Okay. See, I don't even know numbers. But so yes, this has been long awaited. We Phil dude, Phil Jones. See, we can't re, re, we can't just terminate his contract like that because we have to give him money for that. We have to give him money. He, and he's not on a cheap contract anyway. So we can't just terminate his contract like that. Is me? So it's best to just put him in in, in the corner with the kids them. Is me? The under twenty one squad and make him get, get his games or just stand the bench and just see out the season. So right now, Phil uh, Phil Jones is uh no longer in the with the big boys in the big boys team you could say so that is um everything i'll show in his ruthless side and i appreciate a ruthless side we needed some ruthlessness man because under ole gonna search car it's all about kicks and giggles you know everybody's having a good time no no boat is being rocked everybody's comfortable is me everybody's just chilling and is me so we needed this ruthless and some of this ruthlessness was exhibited by Ralph Ragnick ever since he came in and ever since he left out but definitely that's going to be shown towards um the squad with everything Hager's manager um the next piece of news you have here before I say say go into the preview is that everything Hager fires a selection warning to Christian Ronaldo now the transfer, um, the transfer, uh, 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 the summer transfer window has been locked. It's been closed at least until um, January, and it opens again. So Cristiano Ronaldo is here to stay at least for the next September, October, November, December. For next four months, he could make a move in January. But as for right now, he's still with Manchester United. Um, what everything I is basically saying is that. Ronaldo is Ronaldo, you know, given his status and you know, he's one of the best players of all time, multiple winner of the Ballon d'Or and all of that. He's basically saying that my man has to work, work his backside still to get in the starting level, not because of the things he's accomplished, but then means that gives them the auto green light to be starting. My man is not going to be doing that, he's not one for sentiments. That's why you have to respect everything, Hulk. You have to prove yourself, Bridgen. And he basically said that in his press conference that he didn't get preseason and you can't get no preseason if you're not going to get no game. Did that make sense? Oh, yeah. He basically said that if you don't get preseason, you're not going to get much games. And he didn't get preseason. So he's basically saying that Ronaldo has to work. Well, Ronaldo is not immune to hard work, but he needs to work hard to get in the starting level. That's what he's basically saying. I agree with that. Some CR7 Man United fans, they're not even Man United fans, they're just CR7 fans because CR7 is at Manchester United. Some CR7 fans, they say, no man, CR7, he needs to compete with the best. You cannot compete from the bench. He's not Danny Van de Beek, so he needs to compete uh, uh, playing as a striker, playing as a striker, not this, 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 this Rashford that has been diabolical and abysmal for the past two seasons. Play Ronaldo up top. You know, he wants to compete. He wants to beat the best players. This is not the same CR7 as 2015, 2017. I don't, dude. I don't see if, I, I if Ronaldo's, I, dude. This is where the monkey, as I mentioned in the last, in my, in my last video, that this is where the monkey fall into wrenches. If Ronaldo starts, seeing how everything I want his side to be playing, but I don't think Ronaldo will be good in the in, in the build up. I don't. I mean, he'll get his goals, but I just don't see him as a, 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 the the by the book, the pro typical the embodiment of everything Hog strike. I don't think he has that. He wants more for a Marcia who can link play, drop deep, and link down on bombing wide men. That is running forward. Ronaldo doesn't have that control. He doesn't have 
he doesn't have that in his locker, man. He doesn't have that in his back pocket. So I don't think he's going to be a favorable, star, uh, uh, a favorable, viable candidate to be starting. But he said, hey, if you want to start, you have to go. You have to. You have to. You have to go put in the work and show that you're worth. We are worthy of starting. Yeah. So uh, uh um. Yeah, I mean with CR7, bro. I mean, Rashford is, is slowly but surely coming out of this, this stinky form he's been in for the last two years, but... Oh, another thing about this, yes, Everything Hag going... This is me transitioning into the preview for Arsenal's game now. Everything Hag has mentioned that Anthony Marcel will not be seeing the light of the command Sunday in the game against Arsenal at Old Trafford, so he won't... Get any minutes. Matter of fact, he won't be even playing. He won't be even start. He won't be selected because of an injury, I believe. Injury. Victor Lindelof is back from injury, I believe. Um, but everything Hag see everything Hag in his brief press conference when when against Arsenal, he was being very ambiguous. He was not being direct with um his answers when answering the questions, and of course that's understandable and. You don't, you, I mean, you don't want the opposite, op, hold on, the opposition uh, manager to know what you're thinking or who you're thinking to start come on Sunday. So, of course, he's not going to say, oh, yes, Anthony, I know he's a new sign. He's going to be starting on the right flank come on Sunday to make his debut. He's not going to be saying that. He's going to say, you know, well, he basically and he has this raspy voice. You know, one of them bridging that just come, come from work and he just sits at the bar, just drink beer, beer. He just sit down and just drink a lot of beer, man. So he has this raspy, raspy voice. Raspy of a voice, right? So every time I was like, yes, uh, you know, he's had a few trainings. Uh, uh, and, and and I'm not sure about Sunday, but, you know, he's, we're going to train and see how it goes. Same thing with Casimiro. He he has not, he was asked about Casimiro and whether he will be starting. And so and he said, we'll see. We have to see what happens. So I think that's the, the a good rightful approach you don't want to play your cards early when it's not your turn to play the cards isn't me so on sunday bro going back to this arsenal thing with this all of this noise man we have to stop this noise man we can't we can't have it dude if we allow arsenal to come to our backyard and beat us pull on our pants and beat us in front of our own fans arsenal fans are going to be making dude it's not even november yet Arsenal fans are going to be making multiple noise. It's me. Because I guess they have their best striker since Aubameyang. And Aubameyang has ditched them for 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 for, for Bar Barcelona. Wanted to come back to the Premier League with Chelsea. Um, I don't know how you word that out, but I'm no problem solved. So, by tomorrow, Arsenal fans are looking to at least get three points. They know, they think they can pigeonhole our defence. Our defense, if we keep consistent with our defense that has been on, on fire for the last three to four games, that is Lissandro Martinez and Rafael Varane with Dalo and, and, and Malasia, the back four basically, we, Arsenal, Arsenal is not going to score. The only way Arsenal will score tomorrow is if they get a long range shot, uh, uh, they, they take a long range goal from Shaka. Shaka has, Shaka has a decent goal scoring record against Manchester United. So we we can't allow that Bridging to shoot in and out of the box. See so this Bridging shooting cut him off. Of course, do it with a, a degree of tactfulness because you don't want to get a red card and get sent off. But he has a he has he has he ups his game against Manchester United. This is me. So we have to be aware of this Bridging. Bring the full circle to Manchester United. We have won our last uh, uh, four games. Four games or three games. Yes, we have won our last four games. Um, Sancho is on form. Rashford is looking to perform. You know, he's gotten a couple of assists since the start of the season with a goal. He scored a winning goal against Liverpool at Old Trafford. Um, so, yeah, we have... Yeah, Ericsson is, is pulling strings from deep, although it's not something I agree with, but I'm no football manager. So we're we are in a good, we are in a decent place right now. Of course we can be comfortable because we have to be doing better, we aspiring to do better. But 
again, we have to. Uh, we cannot allow Arsenal to come on our turf and beat us. We can't allow that. The amount of noise Arsenal is already making noise. I go on to. I'm. I, I don't even go much. I don't go on Twitter as much. I only go on Twitter to check out a few stuff and to post these videos so persons that are Man United supporters can watch them and be a a a, a subscriber and watch them continually if they enjoy the content. But I've seen Ars. Dude, I've seen Arsenal tweets. They're even jinxing the game, saying that they're gonna beat us three goals, four goals. The game is already in their in in, in their hands. So we have we we have to put that to a stop. It's not like we're going to Emirates to even to play them, and they're talking about getting three four goals on our turf. So it is on our part to play well. And given the starting level, the starting level is a big one. Persons are saying Cristiano Ronaldo has to start. So persons are saying that Casemiro has to start. Persons are saying that Antonio has to start. Person saying that Sanchez, Sanchez, then Sanchez said, we, we, we know that your dead grandmother knows that he's, he's going to be sad. So that's not even a, a debate or a question or a discussion. Um, so yeah, man, yo, this, let me, let me wrap up because I'm, I'm just tired of seeing these Arsenal fans comments, man. This is why I, I, I disassociate myself from Twitter because it can be very toxic. At least when you, if you're a football supporter. If you particularly if you support a Premier League top tier club, tomorrow is a is a is a is is a big match for us. It's not no Champions League final, but this is a game based on reputation. This is a game based on bragging points. This is a game that will show us if we have improved since the start of pre season up until this point, especially starting with our first win. In the Premier League, I don't remember who we played against that we won against, but yeah, yeah, it was yes, yeah, yeah, man. So we need to see if you have made progress. We need to see if there is consistency in the lineup. We have, dude, we have a lot of good players. Contrary to popular belief, Ronaldo is still a world class player in my book. He's not as world class as he was, but he's still world class in terms of goal scoring. Let me say that. He's a art. Let me let me be clear. He's not a good world class player, but he's a world class goal scorer. He's a world class goal scorer. He's not a world class player, Ronaldo. Again, anyway, but he's a very good player. He's a world class goal scorer. We have a world class goal scorer. We have world class talent in the name of Anthony, in the name of Sancho. We have a very good striker in the name of Anthony Martial. Contrary to popular belief, you may not want to believe it, but Rashford is a very good player on his day when he's motivated, anyway. We have Christian Eriksen, who is still able to pull strings, even though he's getting older. We have Bruno Fernandes that has a goal in him. He can have a good game. Um, I was about to say Pogba. Um, so yeah, bro, we, we have we, we have decent players. And the, the starting lineup tomorrow is going to determine whether we play well or not. Well, the, the, the style of play behind the starting level is going to determine that, but... The players on the starting level is going to determine that as well because they are going to be playing and they are going to be doing the acting on the pitch. So the starting level is going to be very key for us tomorrow. My starting level tomorrow. David De Gea in goal. Right back to stay consistent with it. Dalo will be staying at right back. Lissandra Martinez with uh, Varane at, at, in, 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 the, in the defensive third. As the center back pairing, as the left back, of course, would be Tyrell Lamasia. Not Lamasia, Malasia. See, I'm, talk, I'm thinking about Barcelona Youth, Youth Academy. Um, in the midfield, <laughs> we have the double pivot of Christian Eriksen, which I do agree with. And, 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 uh, 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 wait, is, is, is Mark Tomney? See, I'm mentioning Mark Tomney as if I want Mark Tomney to play. I'm going with Casemiro tomorrow to be partnering with Ericsson Deep. So I'm going with Christian Ericsson and Casemiro to be starting on Sunday. In the front four, on the left hand side is um, hmm, Sancho. As the number 10, of course, is Bruno Fernandes. 
as a striker is Rashford, which I don't agree with. But like I said, you know, football manager, I'm just a football fan giving his opinion. Right winger, um, hmm. who's right winger again? Man, don't tell me I'm forgetting who plays right wing for Manchester United, man. I'm having a senior moment. Hmm. Oh, that's funny. Give me a second. Uh, this is I'm I'm being dead serious. Some of you guys think I'm do no, I'm being dead serious. Cause I don't remember the starting lineup. Who 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 plays as winger for Manchester United? It's no longer um. Oh yes, Elanga. Elanga um has been playing. So this is a tough one. I'm going to go with um just 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 to be brief. I'm going to go with Elango starting. Because I don't think Anthony has enough match fit. Now again, I could be wrong, but I'm I'm giving you my starting level. Lever starting level is done in the comment section. My is so dark. Lever starting down uh starting uh starting elevens in the comment section down below and leave your comments down below. Like and subscribe to the channel, hit that bell as well. Um, so yes, to run back the lineup, David De Gea, Dalo, Lissandro Martinez, Rafael Varan, Malasia, um, Eriksen, Casimir in, in, in the midfield as a double pivot. Um, of course, Chris, everybody knows Chris and Eriksen will be playing a bit higher than, uh, Chris and Eriksen will be playing a bit higher than Casimiro. The front four will be Bruno Fernandes, Elanga, Sancho and Rashford. My prediction on Sunday, come tomorrow, will be, this is a funny one. I'm going with a 2-1 victory to Manchester. I was about to say 2-2 draw, but I'm going with a 2-1 victory to Manchester United in the favor of Manchester United. Leave your scoring predictions down below in the comment section, and I'll be shouting you guys tomorrow. Hang on, man. What time the game start? 11 tomorrow and a football game tomorrow in the morning. So, yes, there's a good chance we'll be watching most of the game. But, yeah, man, I'm, I'm still going to show it and see the match reaction. is me. But, leave your scoring predictions down below and I'll show it to you guys tomorrow for the match reaction. Do some out.